Hi Pisces, welcome back. So Pisces, this is going to be your reading for uh, the month of July. Um, the energy will run about two to four weeks um, and it is a you versus them spread. So I'm going to pull cards on you Pisces, what uh, your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person you're dealing with, their hopes, fears, next steps. Um, keep in mind because it's general, it can be interchangeable. Also, the person external can be anyone that's going to be of significance in the next two to four weeks. That could be an intimate partner, an ex, a family member, a friend, a coworker. Keep an open mind and also come back to this reading after the time frame has passed. Okay, you might get additional messages if you rewatch it. All right, so with that said, also check out my other YouTube page for fun stuff about tarot, how to read tarot, etc. That's at Tarot Talks with Dana. The link is in the description box below, as well as my Instagram and Facebook. Check those out as well. Okay, so let's get started, Pisces. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. This is a shared energy. Um, in this deck, it talks about celebrations, so um, you could be quite literally in that type of mentality in the month of July where you might be celebrating um, some events or just like in a celebratory energy. Of course, it also represents um, reconciliation, so for some of you, that might be a key focus for the month of July. Um, and in some cases, it can represent a third party situation. But we'll get all of the cards out and see, uh, narrow down the message a little bit more for you, okay? So, uh, you have here the Hanged Man and your overall energy, Pisces, to get the month started. Um, this is kind of taking a, a time out, a hiatus is the word that popped into my mind. Um, this card also speaks about divine timing, okay? And so... Um, and also seeing something or someone from a different point of view. So that might be uh, the kind of the overall theme here. So we'll see. The person you're dealing with. Overall energy. Okay, so they have the seven of cups here. So this person, um, you know, uh, on a more higher vibrating note, this person may uh, just simply be putting too much of their energy into too many different areas of their life, okay? Um, on a lower vibrating um, note, this could talk about confusion. It could talk about delusionment. The person you're dealing with might be, you know, not always in touch with the reality of situations, um, and for some, it could talk about having more than one option available or someone who's keeping their op their options open. So we'll see. Going to be different for all of you. How you view this person. Woo. How you view this person, Pisces. So you have here the Knight of Cups. The Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Interesting. So, Pisces, I feel like, um, you know, for some of you, this person may have left you at a loss. Or sometimes they leave you, I guess, like you're on the outside, you know, that maybe you are um, left out. Okay, there might be um, some gossip surrounding this person or situation. I have the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups also talks about being indifferent. But then, yet, yeah, you have the Knight of Cups here. This is someone who is uh, bringing love to you or you would like to bring love towards them. Some of you literally want uh, someone to come forward or to come forward to someone that's left you out in the cold, okay? And you kind of view them as kind of being a bit indifferent to you at this point. Or they, you. Remember, it could be interchangeable. Person you're dealing with. How they view you. So I have here the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, that's your energy, Pisces, male or female. 
the two of wands and the seven of wands. This is how they view you. So I feel like Pisces, this person views you as um, being disappointed, you know, pissed off, actually. Um, I feel like this person might be at a distance from you and or maybe emotionally distancing themselves from you because they know that you have your guard up or that you are like on attack mode, okay? There's definitely a sense here of having defenses up and um, for some of you, a few of you, it's resentment. They see you as resentful. You know, like almost disappointed in the time and energy and effort you put into whatever this is, okay? It could be you, they view you as resentful for putting time and energy into them, or it could be totally external to the partnership where they see you as resentful, I would see towards someone at work. Don't ask me why I'm seeing that, but that's what I'm seeing here. So two different groups of you there, or you could be in both. So I'm going to keep going, and then I'm going to get more specific at the end. Towards the end of this time frame, what can Pisces expect? What would the next steps be? King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Interesting. So Pisces, this is a much more grounded energy, okay? Um, I, with the five of wands here, there's still like some, a sense of conflict. This could be conflict with this person or family conflict. Now in this depiction though, it has a very specific meaning. It's someone on the outside looking in. That could be someone on the outside of your, uh, relationship. If you're in a relationship looking in, I did see a third party at the beginning of the reading. It doesn't have to be cheating. It could just be a third party meddling in the situation. But I see that here. So for a lot of you, there is a third person involved here. Um, I have the King of Pentacles out. Could be dealing with Earth. But I have uh, water here as well and fire so far. It's the sense of Pisces wanting to... Um, Be more solid and focused, okay? It's a very take care, take charge type of mentality, yet there's conflict surrounding it, okay? I'm going to have to get clarification on that one, so we'll see what that's about. Some of you might quite literally have a fire sign or an earth sign, that's on the outskirts of this dynamic that's meddling. Person you're dealing with. Person you're dealing with. Wow, could be dealing with Aquarius. I have the star out here. Um, and more fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but, you know, take it's a general reading. So that could just be the energy surrounding you. So I just feel like the person that you're dealing with, um, Pisces, at the end of the month, they're trying to heal things, okay? I just got the song in my head, Black Magic Woman. <laughs> Black Magic Woman. I don't even know who sings that. Check that song out. Um, <laughs> I don't believe uh, and I don't follow Black Magic, but that's the song that came out. So I feel like as an energy, this is more of a uh, fiery energy. It's more of a passionate energy. Um, if you're dealing with specifically an Aquarius, I feel like they have their back turned to you for whatever reason. Um, they might not be very happy with you. For those of you who are not dealing with an Aquarius, then this person is focused on their healing, literally looking at it. You know, this person is looking over here. 
looking to heal a situation uh, or heal things with you. And that goes back to the Three of Cups, the reconciliation at the top. So at this point, I'm going to clarify these and get more specific for you. Pisces. That song is playing in my head now. It's the hangman. She's a black magic woman. Some of the cups. Oh, wow. Okay, King of Pentacles. of cups at the bottom of the deck okay so now i'm going to break this down a little bit more okay so pisces clarifying your overall energy you have the five of swords some of you have taken a break from this person because you've had a lot of conflict with them okay for whatever reason some of you are literally not talking to this person at all others of you it's just there's a lot of tension okay um I feel like this person's energy, when I clarified the Seven of Cups, got the Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is not open to seeing things from your side, okay? They want stability. That's what's crazy. They want the Ten of Pentacles, I feel, with you. But at the same time, they're very guarded in what they share with you. They may not be telling you all the information. There's illusions and disillusionment surrounding this whole situation here. Um, for a few of you, what they're not telling you is that they're confused either where they stand with you or they may have other options going on, okay, in a romantic sense for a few of you. Um, but as an overall general energy, it just speaks of, um, being very protective, okay? And I feel like you see this, you know this, this is not a surprise to you, Pisces, because you see them as the five of pentacles, four of cups. You see them um, being somewhat indifferent, aloof, detached, you know, where at maybe one point in time, they were more open, more forthcoming, more loving. You know what I'm saying? And they see you upset with them. So I feel like this person's reaction to you being upset with them is to kind of wall themselves up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's really interesting because they saw you as the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups in this depiction is someone who's very not happy, okay, and disappointed. You know, to a very, very low vibrational degree, for a few of you, this person sees you as damn right resentful, um, revengeful. Not saying you are being that way, Pisces, but this person may view you that way, okay, for a few of you. For others of you, they just see you disappointed, you know, upset. So coming towards the end of this time frame, I clarified the Ten of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Swords, or I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles had the Ten of Swords. Someone feels backstabbed here. And then the Five of Wands got the Three of Cups again. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. I feel like um, whoever the person is that got left out in the cold, whether that was you or them, wants, is the one that wants the reconciliation because it's someone looking on the outskirts. And I feel like this person over the Queen of Wands has the Fool card, Aries energy. Um, it's like they're of two minds. And, you know, they're looking towards healing, but they're also looking back. 
backwards, right? So um, I think that they're going back and forth quite literally between healing the situation and or turning their back on it. There's also the devil card over the star here. So I feel like this person has maybe a codependent type of uh, vibe this month. Um, they quite literally could be trying to heal from like addictive or negative behaviors. All right. And that's where their focus is as opposed to having like a new beginning over here with you. But I do feel they're of two minds. And as I say that, I look at the bottom of the deck and it's the two of pentacles, which also represents infinity, okay? Which is a repeat of a cycle. You might go in cycles with this person. All right. This person's in search of their emotional fulfillment, but I feel like they get in their own way because they're so guarded, you know what I'm saying? So that is an interesting energy. So I feel like at the end of the month, you know, the overall energy is three of cups coming back together. For some of you, I honestly, it's gonna be different for everyone. I'm gonna get one more clarifier. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I think there's someone going back and forth here. I don't actually, if you're not currently talking to this person, I do see that someone wants to reconcile, but I don't see anyone acting on it. Okay, not, at least not in the next two to four weeks. All right, but time is malleable. Time is different. You have free will. It's going to be different for everyone. But I, I just feel like this person's focus is elsewhere. Also, um... There's a sense of wanting to be independent here. Wanting to be free is the word I heard. Free to do what they want. And they're very protective over that. For those of you who haven't had like a cut off in communication or a breakup with this person. And it's, you know, either someone you're in a current relationship with or a family member, friend, whatever. I feel like there is a sense of wanting to, um, wow, I heard settle the score. Careful with that energy, Pisces, if it's you or they. Um, there is a sense of wanting to reconcile. I, I see it and feel it mostly on your side, but it's general, so it could be interchangeable. Um, but... At the same time, this person needs to work on themselves. Like they, they need to heal some almost deep-seated emotional trauma or issues that causes them to, you know, keep people out, keep you out. It's like a protective mechanism going on over here. And they may be working on healing on that, healing that, even though I do feel that they want a new beginning here. So for those of you who didn't have a complete cutoff, uh, you both, they want a new beginning. You would like to uh, come back together on this situation. But what's standing in the middle is a sense of also wanting to be free from the situation or independent from the situation. So, yeah, Pisces, I've been seeing like similar energies in your reading for a while, and um, first of a small group of you that has been contemplating leaving an unhappy relationship for quite a while. Okay, because I keep picking it up in the readings over and over and over and over again. And I still don't see any action on it. So I would say what's standing in the way of you is you. Because you think about it a lot, but you don't act on it. 
Well, nothing changes if nothing changes, right? So if you want change to occur in your life, you have to change either your approach or what you're doing, okay? And that's for the small group of you that I keep seeing this with. For the rest of you where this is not that situation, you know, um, I just, like I said, I see that both parties want some sort of new beginning here, but there's a lot of blocks in the relationship. There's a sense of like not wanting to see things for what they are. There's a sense of disillusionment. There might be some codependencies or addictions going on, you know, that kind of stand in the way of that. And then so the overall message there is to get your own mind right, get your own self right. Get your own heart right. Get aligned. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you can't control this other person, but you can absolutely control yourself. Happiness is an internal job. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you're in celebratory energy, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so regardless of what happens in this situation, I feel like there are things to be grateful for in the month of July. You know, and so maybe focusing your energy there would be um, helpful towards you. Okay? So, um, I'm going to leave it there. The zodiac signs I have out that you might be dealing with are Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Small chance of another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And those are the predominant signs I see here. But keep in mind, as a general reading, those could be placements in your chart, the person you're dealing with. Um, I saw more than two people here, so it could be placements in the other person's chart, or it could just be the energy surrounding you this month. Take it as it resonates. I do hope that you enjoyed this, uh, and please come back again. I love you so much. Till next time, namaste. Bye.